presented that scripture anyone that will obey him. Uh-huh. Now, Jesus chooses to be our friend, but are you his friend? Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Don't get angry at me when I tell you about yourself. I've got your business. 
come from above, the wisdom of this world, James says, is devilish. Oh, let me, let me go. Let me move. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Listen, let me share something with y'all. For some of y'all that think you got a close friend other than Jesus. Micah chapter 7 and verse 5. You know what it says? Put not your trust in a friend. You need to put this, need to, no, 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 you need to put your confidence in a guy. People were so corrupt in Michael's day, and said, Michael told us, I'm putting your trust in them. He told man, keep your mouth from her that lies in your bosom. Now, some people trust more in people than they do the law. Right. But I don't know about you, but that sounds what we say. I'm going to trust in the law. You need to the Bible tell you to trust in people with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord yes. with all of your heart. And lead not to your own understanding, but in all the ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. I thank my God for directing me. Yes. Because I know what I'd be like if it didn't. See, I used to be like some people, Lord, not think I was a know it all. Nobody could tell me anything. You weren't right except that I say. But it didn't gain me anything. It caused me to lose. Because God, listen, when you think you know everything, God says, okay, you don't need me. All right. All right. Some people think they know more than Jesus do. Right. Amen. But the Lord said this, and he was serious when he said it. He said, now, I ain't kept nothing for y'all. Service, I don't know what this Lord does, but I ain't calling you something. I'm calling you friend. Because everything that I done, heard from my father, I shared it with y'all. Now, listen, it's everything I shared, I shared it with y'all. And not only that, but I've chosen you. For what? That you should go and bring forth fruit. That's what it, all of you. I believe it's First Peter 1 and 19. Something for uh, uh, the Holy Ghost to slow down in Jesus' name. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. This is what we are. We are chosen. It wasn't because children are someone like me and hands It wasn't because I knew so much. It wasn't because I went to school. It wasn't because of my years of experience. It was because I loved you. Amen. Because I found out something. Galatians 6 and verse 3. If a man thinketh he's something when he is nothing, he deceiving him or her sin. So I found out without Jesus and nothing. And you know what? I might not have a lot of friends on earth, but I got a friend. Y'all hear me? I got a friend. And I know I got a friend in Jesus. Amen. I don't know about you, but I know I got a friend in Jesus. I don't have to feel I ain't got no. I used to feel that way. That's why I feel with hope and I ain't got I feel I ain't got a friend in the world. I don't feel like that because I got a friend. Not only I got a friend in heaven, but I got a friend in Jesus down here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, friends, I said this, you can read what I'm saying, but it's going to help somebody because we've been tearing people down. A friend that love, listen, Paul said this in 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 1. He said, We have knowledge, sorry, knowledge for us. But charity edifies. And you know what I took that word and put it in language? I said, knowledge tears down. But love builds up. That edifies means to build up. That you love people, even though they're not why they are, you build them up, you encourage them, you don't call them to, you don't call them to. Some people say some people are foolish. Don't you know that James is calling anybody foolish? He said he has to call our brother foolish in James on the help of you're not so smart with us that we can call people crazy. Just think of what your mind, our mind will be like if the Holy Ghost went in life. Think of where you would be, what you would do, what you would say if you didn't have some kind of somebody to control our mind. If you didn't have a mind of Jesus, can you think of what you would say? A thing that you would do to people if you didn't have Jesus. He said this, I'm telling you, two people can't walk together if they don't agree. Amen. Amen. That's what, that's what I am a friend. He said, 
If two walk together except they be in agreement. If you and the Lord ain't in agreement, he says you're my friend if you do what I told you. And a lot of people know what he told them, but I just ain't doing it. I don't know if I could say this thing, but I won't say that. The Lord won't let me say it right now. But that's the thing that when God says, says I'm going to say, because of the spot of Christ in this, this church, this, it, we are not no multitudes, but we are. If everybody would come together like the, the people did in the Sunday school lesson this morning and be on one accord, some of y'all don't even know what went on in Sunday school. In, in the lesson, you because some of them haven't even read it. Because what I'm saying is, when we become one on one accord, y'all going to see a power that you've never seen before. Yeah. When we become one. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Give me a minute. We'll get to it. But God just want me to tell y'all, you need to stand, friend. That friend that tells you you don't have to be here, that ain't your friend. That friend that makes you sleep over on Sunday, that ain't your friend. That friend that has you to come in, I'll just go to the service, that ain't your friend. That friend that tells you you don't have to go to Bible study, he's not your friend. You know what I mean? It ain't your friend. Your friend will tell you, we need a word. Like that son said, we need a word. I look like you, we need a word. People are hurting and we don't know what to even tell them except I hope they get all right. <laughs> People need a word for their pain. People need to know that they are in the hills. People need to know that if the Lord got us and found that they are in a deliverer. But people need to know that Billy Dunn Joe, I don't know, I hope he gets better. Listen, they don't need to hear that. Tell them God is in control of your situation. If it's not a high look, it's going to be all right.
tell people about you. What do you think he told you? Well, because you look good, you look good here. I didn't do y'all because y'all look good. And I didn't do y'all because you were good. I told you because I got a work for y'all. Amen. 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 And when we see somebody going in front of the Sunday school, we ought to support them with everything we got. Amen. Even in, in the everyday life circle, like food market, I want you to know that I, I believe I can speak for all of us that we're there for you. We love you. I thank God that you had the courage enough to step out there in the name of Jesus. And because you've done this in the name of Jesus, the Lord is going to bless them. And you're going to be able to give all the people's job. It's not, I, I, I know by talking to you that you're not selfish. You're not doing this just for a little market, but you're doing it. So you can help others. And the Lord is going to do that. Yeah, yeah. And we shouldn't be jealous. Just like some people say. Because she got all this. She said she's up. And you all talk about it. You yeah, done yeah. something that the cowards wouldn't do. Because yeah. I'm scared I might lose. And because you done that. God's going to bless that business. Yeah. And if that business is going to bless somebody else. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. Just watch this too. Watch this too. Amen. Amen. Just when God bless us for a minute, we're going to be a blessing. I bless you to be a blessing. I love it when I can speak the truth because I know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God, the Lord says, I'm looking for some friends that will do what I say. I'm not looking for a real friend. Or hang around with you long and it's been a good thing. Be very friend. When you stop being a good thing, and you can't do what I'm talking about, say a farewell, what you call a farewell to friend. But Jesus is a friend. Proverbs 18 and verse 24, that he would stick close to y'all and tell his brother. Won't he do it? Yeah. Mom and daddy go home and leave you the Lord said, I'm dying. Yeah. When you get through all the people so you in the nursing home, God said, in your old age, I carry you. Amen. And he said, don't be ashamed of being old. I'm not, because the Bible declares a hoary head and a crown of glory. It be found in the way of righteousness. So, in other words, I love it. I love it. So I'm saying to you, if Jesus ain't your friend, you need to ask him to be your friend. I want to be your friend. I want to because the Lord just leads me. And he lets me know this. A friend will do all he can to help you. If you are struggling in a day and you need the help of the Lord, Jesus said, I'm here for you. Whoever you are, he said, I'm here for you. Amen. And he ain't going to come back there and grab you, but if you are here today and you need prayer for anything, the Lord is here to go. You may come. Amen. Whosoever will, come on. That man kept on going through that water for 38 years because he was determined I'm going to get healed. And you, you got it. You determined. Come on. Amen. Now I went last Sunday. Now I said, you get what you came from. If you get it, come back again. Amen. In other words, you got to be persistent when you're asking the Lord for something. Amen. Does that mean anybody else?
Others that won't grab you, stand on the view, just want to go and intercede for this family. But God can break that. God can break that thing that is trying to keep us apart. He can break that yoke that's going to keep us apart. Amen. 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 Amen.
the Father to my voice. Keep the Father to my voice. Y'all don't understand what I've been through. What I've been through. I've been through storms, rain, everything. I want to tell all, all the young ladies, it's not worth it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. 